Welcome to the video guys. Today we're looking at Bioware and whether we should be surprised that they're in such a state that they are in after the release of Anthem. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so after the last week of Anthem being out and all the really negative comments that have come out, um, it's easy to bash on Bioware. Now, I understand where a lot of people are coming from and I understand their disappointments. I played the open beta or demo, whatever they want to call it, um, and I have to admit, I wasn't impressed either. The story was average, the, the way the dialogue was was really naff. Um, the game looked alright, the, the hub looked nice, but I mean it was very clunky. Um, the game design and the levels was was really really lazy. Um, low times, everything, everything was was really average. Now, with all the reviews that are starting to come out, I'm not surprised. Now, this is disappointing because when Mass Effect Andromeda came out, it got such a negative backlash. Now, we all knew that Anthem was coming out. We all knew that they were working on something bigger. And the promise when they announced Anthem was that this game was going to be, you know, bigger than what Mass Effect, or at least on the same level as what Mass Effect was. It was their new Mass Effect, effectively. Um, so with that in mind, the build-up that they got, now it went through some changes. Initially, it was thought that it was going to be a semi-MMO type game, similar to Destiny and The Division. That changed. It then became a single player with an online component for co-op. Now, I that I didn't mind. You know, I mean, whatever. It's, it's your game. But when they released the the beta, all the issues, you know, that you would have thought they would have learned from the release of Destiny, um, Division, you know, the, it just seems like they just haven't listened. They haven't watched what the community has talked about. They haven't listened to the issues that those games received. And it feels like even with Fallout 76, which is probably one of the worst games to ever be released, purely for the fact that they released a game that is nowhere near finished, um, where they boasted about how great it was going to look, this amazing storyline, and what we got was a huge pile of crap. Now, Anthem, I would not say... Even with the reviews that are coming out, I would not say that it is on Fallout 76's level, but it is pretty, pretty horrible. Now, this is a AAA title. This is a title that, you know, you would expect, even after a beta, people to come away going, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. I, I can't wait. But no one has said that. I haven't seen anyone that has been really excited. And, and anyone that says that they were really excited... Good on you. You know, I mean, that, that that's that's up to you. I mean, every review should be taken as an opinion and, and as a, a, well, with a grain of salt. You know, I mean, if I review something, um, you know, that's my opinion on the game. But when it's a collective agreement as to how average or how bad a game is made, I think that's pretty telling. Um, I'm yet to see a review that gives it a, a good score. And that, that's really surprising to me. It's really surprising that Bioware would, would go out there, make a game. They had six years to make this game, probably more to be fair, and they would release it in a state where the story is is not complete or it doesn't feel complete. The level design looks lazy. You know, one playable area in the whole game where everything looks the same you know loot a loot shooting game like this you know where you're you're playing the game so that you can have better gear so you can make your your character look the best or as best as you want it to look i mean everything that i've seen online everything that i've seen from different youtubers and reviewers is pretty much saying the same thing is that it's not worth the time the amount of hours that you have to put in to get minimal loot or a lo or a loot system that just isn't as rewarding as you would expect. Have they not been paying attention? 
I mean, even Fallout 76 has a better loot system than than this. And, and that is saying something, because, I mean, Fallout 76, as we all know and have already said, was a huge pile of crap. But to go from Mass Effect, one of their most loved titles, and then make a piece of turd out of Andromeda because you were working on Anthem, you know, you can't tell me that this was a bigger project. Andromeda had more going on for it in its story. The only thing letting that down was maybe a, a better better story overall, but graphically it, it, it did not live up to what everyone would have expected for a Mass Effect title. You know, I mean, we you go from having the first three games and even having Dragon Age, you know, I mean, those games look better than Andromeda, and they're older games. They they were they were titles that we played and loved, but they looked better. They looked more like a game that had a lot of love and heart put into it. And Andromeda was a mess, you know. Then and people didn't hide that that fact. But Anthem, you know, the way that they've marketed the game, the way that they they're hiding things behind microtransactions, you know, they're and I, I don't know whether it's Bioware completely to blame. I mean, this is EA that is the the head here. And, and maybe they're forcing them to go down this road. And if they are, then that really, really sucks. You know, I mean, Bioware are a much-loved company. And they are slowly killing themselves here. They are slowly turning all of their community away from them. So what needs to happen here? What needs to happen for Bioware to improve that relationship again and to get people to come into Anthem. Now, day one patch or not, it's not going to fix the game straight away. We know that. No day one patch really does. And the fact that they had the demo not that long ago, same with Fallout 76. You release a, a demo or a beta a couple of weeks out from, from release, you know that any problems that are in that game when it comes to content are not going to be fixed day one. There's no way. Now, do you wait? Do you wait a month? Do you wait three months, six months, a year? You know, do we wait for DLC to get announced to to see whether it's worth coming back into the game? I, I doubt Anthem are going to just release free story content to improve the game. I think that what we've got now is what we've got. I think that's it. Um, maybe they can alter the end game a little bit, you know, add more content make the the grind a little bit better but ultimately i i I just cannot see anthem being saved i I think what the problem that bioware have now is that they've got a game that is broken they can fix graphical issues load times all of that 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 stuff can be improved on gradually but ultimately the game itself i mean you look at destiny and destiny 2 both games went through a period of being crap you know destiny one we were given a game that when they announced had a different story had you know all these promises when it released at first yes the the thought was it was a good game but it was quickly found that it was lacking lacking the guts that was needed to justify what they had said and then they released dlcs throughout that each game's life to improve upon it some dlcs not that good and destiny 2 is probably a prime example there where most of the DLCs have been absolute shit, but Forsaken has kind of redeemed itself a little bit. But then again, Black Armory has has kind of killed a little bit of that, that um, positiveness, in my opinion. So it is possible that Anthem can come back strong. They, they can improve upon their game with DLC. But the big question for them is whether the damage is already done, whether Anthem or Bioware can fix the game so that the community comes back now like i said i i haven't bought the game i didn't pre-order it i played the demo and thought i'm not wasting my money i'm not going to pre-order a game that i didn't enjoy beforehand and seeing the early access from other youtubers and and that and and streamers you know it's just it's just not it's not positive and it doesn't make me want to go out and spend a hundred dollars here in new zealand to play a game that I'm probably going to get a couple hours into it and think, oh my God, this is so horrible and I'm going to want to turn it off. So 
I probably will eventually get it. I may not review it because by the time I get it, what's the point in reviewing a game that's already already been reviewed? But what we might do is we might review, you know, the DLCs or extra content, anything like that, to see whether it is worth actually sticking with the game. What you probably will find in the next couple of weeks with Division 2 coming out, you know, a lot of those people are going to be jumping off Anthem and jumping either into that or back into Apex Legends or Fortnite or, or whatever else they're playing. Bioware are on a thin line with their games and the big question is going to be what can they do to reassure all of you that future games that they bring out, because they they have said that, and, and I, I find it really strange that they said this right before um, launch of Anthem, that the Mass Effect series is not dead that they they do have plans for it which is really strange to, to to talk about right before your big game comes out you know have they already just sort of kind of taken anthem and gone you know what this is this is this is done we'll we, we'll keep a, a small team to to fix you know small things um and work on dlc um but we're we're pretty much done with it so what do bioware have to to do to get you myself everyone to have faith in their next project in my opinion i think personally they need to do a bungee i think they need to separate from ea because ea to me are a killer when it comes to these game developers i love fifa i you know i like i love all that stuff and i will continue to play that stuff but when you're taking love developers like bungee bioware and yes you've got the money to support them but you're dictating to companies that know how to make great games how to release their game you know this is where they they get caught destiny was in that boat with the microtransactions activision dictating their their plans how they wanted microtransactions to to operate i would be shocked if ea weren't doing the same thing with bioware my opinion bioware i would love to see them break away from ea and become an independent developer again um, restore the faith back into their product and make games how they used to make them you know deliver the story have great gameplay have you know great graphics uh, if anthem had an amazing storyline to it you know we probably would not be nitpicking so much on some of the graphical issues there were still some things that we would nitpick on but if the story was actually an amazing immersion into that world there'd be less negativity about the game and you know, with a, a game that you have said is a, a story-driven title, you know, story was a main focus. To go out there, release a game that has a half-baked story with very little going on around it, of course you're going to find that people are going to be anti your product. They're going to, they're going to hate on it. They're going to troll you. They're going to write negative reviews and they're going to li- to talk about your game in a way that you don't want to. So I would li- I'd like to, to see what you guys think i'm not going to ramble on too much more about this i just felt i needed to to talk about it you know everyone all these reviews are coming out all this dialogue is coming out about the game um, and it's already negative if you are playing the game and you are enjoying it leave leave a comment i'd, I'd like to see what what people think um even if you you're not enjoying the game you know let's 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 discuss it and maybe we can talk about this more later on but anyway guys i'm going to leave it there so if you if you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time